DePaul defends its title. The Blue Demons are the Big East Women's Basketball Tournament Champions for the second straight year. Doug Bruno's team getting it done 78-68 to over the Seton Hall Pirates, powered by Megan Podkoa, who had 19 points as well as six rebounds. She is the tournament's most outstanding player as DePaul wins by 10 and receives the automatic bid in the NCAA tournament. I'm John Fanta alongside my Big East Digital Network partner, Kim Adams. And Kim, what did it come down to for DePaul to take the title? Once again, it was all about defense tonight, John. DePaul was incredible on the defensive end. They really locked in on their matchups, didn't let Seton Hall get any easy looks, turned them over a lot, and they really were just in control the entire game on the defensive end. And then it also doesn't hurt that they shot more than 50%. They had a tremendous shooting night, really got great looks at the basket. Like you said, Megan Podkoa was Incredible for the second consecutive night. Really hit some big threes in the second half after sitting with some foul trouble in the first. And then Shanice Jenkins played a great all-around game. 16 points, 7 rebounds, 5 assists. And just really the floor general out there leading her team, getting out in transition. Just a really all-around great game for the Blue Demons tonight. You look at the key moments of this season throughout, and you got swept by Seton Hall. You had a tough injury to Megan Rogowski. How important was it for you to come together as one group? It was very important, and, you know, after Rogo got hurt, we dedicated every game to her, and even though we got swept by Seton Hall, we didn't lose focus or lose sight of what we wanted to achieve this year. What did you do defensively tonight that really kept you from letting Seton Hall get back into this game? Um, you know, it was just locking down on defense and owning our matchups and all of that. And then as soon as they shot the ball, it crashed the rebound. So there was no second shots. And you guys had such an incredible defensive effort tonight. It just seemed like Seton Hall really couldn't get too many good looks and you had them frustrated. What were you guys saying to each other in the huddles, in the locker room before the game and at halftime to really get that energy up? Yeah, our main focus coming in this game was definitely um, defense and rebounding. And we didn't do that the first two games that, that we lost. So we really knew every time that we came out on that court, we had to make a stop. We had to get um, a defensive stop and a rebound. So every time we had a timeout, every huddle, we were always talking about defense and rebounding, defense and rebounding. Well, I think the month of March is is the culmination of the other 11 months. I mean, we play for March. Every team in America starts this journey back in April a year ago. And, and you know, I think our players really focus and understand. I think they see the vision of March every year. We play for March. They, they, they constantly remind themselves we're playing for March. And we want to be playing in March and be playing our best ball in March. We've done a lot, John, but you know what? There's still a lot for us to do. There's still some programs. We're one of only eight or nine programs to have gone to 13 NCAA tournaments in a row now, but there's still another level that we haven't achieved you know we have not moved to the elite eight yet we haven't gotten to the final four yet we haven't won the national championship yet so we still keep our eye on, on, a, on the higher prize DePaul receives the automatic bid in the NCAA tournament. Seton Hall projected by many national bracketologists to be in the field of 64 as well. These two teams, the Big East regular season co-champions, and they put on a show at Allstate Arena here on Tuesday night with Doug Bruno's team pulling out. In the end, experience matters, and Doug Bruno has his team peaking at the right time and playing great team basketball. It's more than Brittany Rinko, the player of the year. She had nine assists as well tonight. DePaul is going in the tournament. Seton Hall looks to be doing that as well. That is all for our coverage here at Allstate Arena. What a fun four days we had for you. For our full BEDN crew, Kim Adams, I'm John Fanta, and we are signing off from Allstate Arena for the Big East Digital Network.